All right, I'm back with a with another video for y'all on uh, how to do Ford scan on your 2021 F-150. Uh, I'll try to show you how to do the main features like the double horn honk and uh, I'll try to show you Bambi mode and uh, the auto start stop at least. Uh, but before anybody does anything, if you're not technical and you don't know exactly what you're doing, you need to you know, really, really do your research before you start messing with anything on your truck because this is actually tapping into your modules and it you could do something and it could mess your truck up severely. And, you know, if you try to take it into the dealer after you've messed something up, then they may not warranty it or whatever. So first warning I'm going to give, you know, be careful. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable doing, doing something, don't do it. Um, you know, I don't want anybody to mess their truck up. So just be careful. And, you know, if y'all have any questions, I can try to help out as much as possible. So, uh, first off, first thing you need is the OBD2, OBD2 reader for your truck. Uh, and this one is the OBD2 link, uh, or OBD link EX. Uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description box. And the other thing you're going to need, obviously, is a computer. So, all I have is just a cheap Windows computer from uh, Walmart and really any any Windows computer that you can, you can download something onto and, you know, that has a little bit of memory for you to save some stuff, like your as-built files, then it should work perfectly fine. I don't believe that you can do it with an Apple computer, but I had a buddy that said that he did but you have to jump through a lot more hoops to do it that way. So I'm not really knowledgeable on that, but that's just what I've heard. Uh, so I'm going to just get right into it. Here we go. All right. So the first thing you have to do with your computer is you have to go to forescan.org. Uh, and the way that I got to this page exactly. So if you go to forescan.org, it's going to bring you to this page and kind of tells you everything for Forescan Live for iOS, I've not used that. Forescan Windows and then Android. Uh, this is the only one that I've used and I can really speak on. So that's what I'm going to be uh, talking about today. So uh, next thing you need to go to is you need to go to uh, products. Click on products. Uh, and if you don't have a Wi-Fi signal for all this, I mean, you really don't need it. You can do all this process in your house. Uh, prior to coming out to the truck or anything as far as downloading everything so the first thing you have to do is you have to click on the information about extended license and you can buy the license or you can do the uh, free extended license a two-month trial and you just have to create an account and everything and me all of that all that i've done is the free extended license i has i haven't done i hadn't paid for anything with doing this you just have to redo it every time the two-month trial is up and uh so anyways you'll do that and then uh you'll create a an account and everything uh, i've already done it so there's really no need for me to do it but it'll give you this information your hardware id you'll put that uh from your obd2 reader and uh that's pretty much that and it's going to give you the license key which is pretty much the main role of doing this uh is to get the license key and I'll show you where that comes in on Forescan. The next thing, once you got your free uh, license or whatever, or if you want to pay for it, I mean, that's up to you. It's not, you know, there's no wrong or right way. It's just whatever you want to do. So the next thing you got to do is you actually have to download Forescan onto your computer. So obviously I've already done this also, but you're going to click on this program right here, if it's for Windows, and it'll download Forescan to your computer. And once you've done that, obviously it'll be saved to your computer and everything. And uh, once you get it opened up and everything, so I've already got mine opened up here, uh, but you'll just open it up. And the first thing you have to do is you have to go down here to the bottom. And mine says uninstall license, license key, but that's because I already have mine installed. If I didn't, then you would go here and you would put the code in that it's gonna give you once you generate your license key. Uh, on the program that I was I was just showing where uh, you have to put your hardware ID in or whatever. And then once you do that, uh, 
then you're pretty much ready to to start doing stuff with uh four scan so i'll show you how to get started right, next thing we're going to do is get the obd2 all plugged up so as you can see i already turned the the truck into the on position and to do that with push start vehicles you just push the button one time that's it you're gonna plug the obd2 in right down here right there and then we'll go back to the computer all right so adapter you know it's just basically warning you uh that you know the adapter is not optimized or some crap i don't know uh i just hit yes uh and then i already have my profile saved obviously because i've done the stuff on my truck before uh so we're just going to hit yes load save profile is what i just did uh if it's your first time doing it then it's going to ask you to do to save a profile uh so next thing you're going to do is you're going to go right here to this button it's configuration and programming so you're going to click on that and number one thing before you go into any of these modules and try to do anything is you're going to go to it to the as built format and you're going to hit play that little button right there or run changing configuration is potentially not safe this is right this is what i was i was warning about so if you're not comfortable with computers once again don't try to do anything that you know could mess your vehicle up that's most important so and if you do this is what i'm about to show you now so you're going to hit okay it's going to go through it's going to read your modules and there you see all the codes that this module has is pcm and the first thing you want to do before you change anything is you want to go right here to save all so save all and you see it brings up this little thing to save all of your as-built files uh depending on what module you click on so i've already saved you can see i believe where is it one of mine so i've done four scan for like three or four different vehicles for my buddies uh but that's why there's so many on here but that's mine right there the pcm i guess uh so you would just hit okay you know and it would save your as-built files so that if you did go in there and you mess something up uh then you could always go back and uh reprogram it to the way that it was from the factory and that is the most important thing about Forescan is to save your as-built files no matter what if you do nothing else you know save your as-built files that way you can always go back to them so i'm just gonna hit cancel because mine are already saved all right so now i'm gonna go back you're gonna hit that stop button go back up here to the top configuration and programming and i'll show you i'm so I showed you the procedure to save your as-built files, and that goes the same for any of these modules. Uh, so you're going to do that from here. So you see the ones that say as-built, 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 all them? Those are the ones you want to save the files from. So you see these that don't have that beside them? Don't worry about saving them. Okay, so we're going to go into the body control module. Play. And this is the easy way to use Forescan. You don't have to worry about any codes or anything. You just go in here and you can basically hit enable or disable. So let's see. For the body control module, you see you can change all this stuff that's on here. Uh, axle ratio, which you wouldn't need to change unless you were, you know, changing your axles. But uh, anyways, so let's see, I'm trying to see, okay, so here in the body control module, the double horn honk, you can see on mine that it's disabled, obviously, because I hate it and I changed it already. But if you wanted to change your all you got to do is hit edit selected and change it from enabled to disabled and then hit okay or check mark. I'm going to just hit cancel because I've already done it. And then once you do that, you'll hit this button right here that says right. And it's gonna save it to your truck. And it's gonna tell you to turn the ignition on and turn it off. So I'll, I'll do it. I'll turn mine back on just to show y'all exactly what it's gonna say. Uh, obviously I'm not gonna leave it, but so, okay. Then I'm gonna go right back to here, right. 
confirm changes yes okay see at the bottom it just went all the way across it just it just wrote that code please cycle ignition off and then back on all right so that's what we're gonna do off back on and then you can go right back so uh now that's back on i'll turn it back off you know when i'm done with the video but that's how you do that and there's a lot of different stuff in the in the bcm that you know you can change and do and everything uh you can just really go through and play with stuff and i mean you'll see everything depending on your vehicle but that's basically how you do the easy changes on force scan you can go through and you know find everything you want to find uh, another big thing is right here is your tire circumference uh, you change if you get bigger tires on your truck you can go in here and change the circumference so your speedometer won't be off once you do that you do have to do the pcm relearn uh, which is uh, you know one of the other modules but uh, that's that you can change when your dr drls are on high beam you know all that stuff so all right, I'm gonna now. I'm gonna go into showing the harder ways to to use four scan, which is more dangerous in my opinion. Back out of this. Just hit that stop button again. Go back to configuration and programming, and then we'll go right back into BCM. But we're going to the as built format. So you hit the play. Okay, same thing as while ago gonna read 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 okay and there are your codes all right so next we have uh all your codes uh if you're doing it the more difficult way i say usually i say the more risky way but as long as you have your file your as built file saved then you should be okay so First thing I'm going to go over is the auto start stop because I know a bunch of people want to want to be able to do that on their trucks. So I'll show you all how to do that. So you can see PSCM, I believe that's the power steering control module. And you see over here it says Trix auto start and the thing there's a steering event happening or something. So anyways, uh, we'll go back to that. So back to four scan and uh, we're going to hit play. All right, see, there's all the codes. And before I really get started with all these, I want to say I didn't I didn't figure out all these codes. So, you know, whoever did, credit to them. I didn't do it. I'm not taking credit for it. I've just used them. I figured it was a public record or whatever uh, for anybody to use it or it wouldn't be on the Internet. So uh, there's that. I just want to get that clear, you know, credit to whoever done it. Uh, so... First thing we're going to do is we're going to look for 730-0301. So let's go back to 4Scan. So 730-0301. So we see it right here where the mouse is. You see that that's your, that's your code there. You know, all these are what it would be. Mine's already been changed, so it's not exactly like the factory. But if you go back to here, you'll see... The X's, you change nothing. The only things you change are where the zero, so in this case, the zeros, this one, the CD. But for auto start stops, you're going to take the zeros on that particular uh, uh, address, click that, and you're going to go right here. That's the same one I was just on, and put two zeros right there at the front of that. You don't change the 3 8, you don't change the Fs, you don't do any of that. Alright, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hit write all. And or you can you can go right here and hit write and it'll save just the ones that you just did in this little area. But if you changed anything else throughout this whole thing, you would hit write all and it would write to your vehicle, just like I was showing with the other one. Uh so that's pretty much how you do the start stop and it cuts it right off. All right, the last one I'll kind of go over, and I know this is getting kind of repetitive because you're just doing the same thing over and over, uh, just in different modules and different codes and all that, but the Bambi mode. It's where your, your high beams stay on when your fog lights uh, 
when your fog lights are on as well. From the factory, they cut the fog lights off if you cut your high beams on. So we're going to go back to BCM, which is where that is. We're going to hit stop again. Configuration. Body control. Play. Okay. And then... We're going to look for 726-3902. 726-3902. Scroll down, scroll down. 3902. So here it is. Go back and see see what we got to change on this one. So all you're changing is the last letter in the first value to zero. So... Back to four scan, 3802, the last zero. I already changed mine, obviously, but that's it right there. You hit right, and then you got Bambi mode on. All right, y'all, so I hope that was uh, pretty informative on uh, how to use four scan. I know I didn't go over every single thing, but I know this video is probably getting kind of long, and you know I don't want people to lose interest. Uh, but like I said, just be careful. Uh, pay attention to what you're doing. Go slow and everything. Uh, and, you know, like I said, if y'all have any questions, y'all can holler at me. Or there's tons of forums on the internet that you can look up. Facebook groups. Uh, everything. Uh, I'm by no means an expert on it. I've, I've just done it a few times on a few different vehicles. And, I don't know, I kind of have the hang of how you do everything. Uh, but... Besides that, I appreciate it if y'all like and subscribe, and uh, I'll try to keep videos coming uh, as often as I can. I know this one took a little while, but that's just how it is sometimes. Uh, nothing else. Go dogs! Y'all have a good Saturday, uh, and have a blessed year and a happy Thanksgiving with your family. See y'all later.